I really became interested in research when I uh, was doing my undergraduate degree. I think one person that really had an impact is Professor Blackburn, who currently is at, I think, what, 100 or 103. He was the first person at Sydney University to actually do clinical research, and he had established this uh, research ward at Royal Prince Alfred. And I was fortunate enough to work as the professorial registrar then, and uh, I think that had an impact. The thing that I love about research uh, is uh, it's creative. You know, it, you're creating new things. You've got to let you know, the researchers free. You know, to be creative, uh, not to restrict them. I'm passionate about that. And not only are you creating something, you're able then to translate it to help. Uh, uh, patients uh, and, you know, and their families. The title of my research is Novel Proteins in Complement Dysregulation in the Development of Age-Related Macular Degeneration, Complement Factor H and Beta-2 Glycoprotein 1. My research aims to understand how Complement Factor H and Beta-2 Glycoprotein 1 are involved in the development of age-related macular degeneration. Complement factor H and beta-2 glycoprotein 1 are two very important proteins in the retina and in development of age-related macular degeneration. As we know, not everybody with early AMD will go on to develop late AMD and blindness. This project has the potential uh, to develop a blood test uh, to identify those patients that have early AMD that will go on to develop late AMD. So it's important that we actually identify those. I've had a long career in inflammation and I've recently got into the area of eye disease and age-related macular degeneration. So we're coming through it quite a different angle and so we're seeing AMD in a different light and I think sometimes that's very important. The Macular Disease Foundation of Australia, vital in terms of providing support to, uh, for people like myself. If the Macular Disease Foundation of Australia wasn't around, we wouldn't get that funding uh, because there's been this cutback in, in research uh, funding by the government. I hope that the foundation continues to support uh, researchers like myself because it's vital. <laughs>